Good morning, guys. We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of um, video for you guys. We got Abitur of Zero literally a day away. And I was just, you know, I was talking with my chat and I thought that this would just kind of be a, a kind of like a funny video in a way, but more of like a video that can just help you out with the Arbiter of Zero if you are struggling with getting your build finalized or getting your gear pieces or your resistances paragon board etc but one thing that i haven't considered the entire time is elixirs so we have a plethora of elixirs here in my inventory i literally have not used any of these since the start of season two well maybe maybe the lower level ones you have all the lower level ones here that i always keep on each of my characters because they're the weak elixirs which is just means that they're the same elixirs as the other one their percentages are just lower so we're not even going to look at those right so i probably have used those to level up but we have these are the main elixirs so i thought today i'd go over all of the elixirs and talk to you about which ones are best for the upcoming Zer event if you guys are going to participate so let's get right into it so what do elixirs do right so of course we all know elixirs to give us you know the five percent increased exp however if you're using these for Zer, you don't need the xp right you're already level 100 you're good to go now we're going to be looking at the different bonuses and kind of not necessarily ranking these but just telling you which ones are best for you and maybe your build for Zer. So let's look at all of them and just go over each of them one at a time. And then I'm going to break down my favorite ones for Zer going into, especially with my ball lightning build. So we have Heady Acrobatics Elixir. It reduces the cooldown of your evade by 20%. This one's okay. Um, if I am going to be like kind of ranking these, pseudo ranking these, this one would be at the end. You don't necessarily need this. A lot of players already have boots that have three or plus uh, maximum evade charges so you don't really need the additional cooldown however if you are going to be using something like a flicker step or you're going to be using something like su boots or you're going to be using something different that doesn't have a lot of evade charges on it then this may be good for you in the arbiter but really it's more or less of our defenses offenses and armor right so next we have probably arguably one of the best elixirs in the game which is going to be elixir of cruelty this increases your critical strike chance by 15% for 45 minutes. Now, keep in mind, guys, that all these elixirs, if you have your seasonal blessings maxed out, this will increase the duration of all of your elixirs by 50%, which is huge, right? So instead of them lasting 30 minutes, they last 45 minutes, which is just fantastic for Zuri. You can just pop one of these and just go for like an hour, right? So increased critical strike chance is actually really, really good. Um, considering a lot of people don't have a high critical strike chance minus 31 percent so this would go up and just make it better right so this one is pretty pretty good i'm gonna probably leave it at like the two slot next we have the elixir of savagery all right you this increases your crit strike damage so if you already have a high crit strike chance then this might be a better option for you over elixir of cruelty because you're going to get the increased critical strike damage okay this is actually really really solid i'll probably leave it at the three slot pretty straightforward Next, we have Elixir of Fortitude, which is, I think, one of the best ones in the game. I'm going to kind of move these down uh, to three and four. So Elixir of Fortitude increases max life by 20%. That is huge, okay, in the for like the Abitur or just in the game in general. You're talking about pumping my 15k life up even higher, which is insane for the Arbiter. You just survive, and if you're playing like a... Um, unkillable bill with the melted heart right you're playing an immortal having something like that is just even better or if you're playing an overpowered build more life is just better right because then your fortitude is higher which makes your overpower damage even stronger so elixir of fortitude definitely at the top i'm probably going to leave this at the two slot it is super good or maybe the one slot i don't know yet they're both super super strong uh never mind that background guys the they're out there just blowing the wind and hitting the, the brushes and stuff like that all right, next one, Expertise Elixir. This is actually really, really nice. It reduces the resource cost by 10%. It's not bad. However, at this point, if you're going to go fight the Arbiter of Zir, you should have all of your resources and resource management pretty much maintained. You shouldn't have any issues with resources, even the cost of your skills that you're going to be using. However, this one is actually really, really solid on when you're leveling up and using those things to just kind of mitigate your resources until you can fix those when you get to the higher level. So right now, I'm probably going to put this one on the back end here and just 
it's just not as great it's gonna go probably next to the cooldown this is probably the worst one that you need now next we got elixir of combatant fortune so this one is super strong it increases your lucky hit chance by 20 percent which is actually pretty insane for any lucky hit builds out there my lucky hit uh chance bonus is 18 percent, so obviously it would go up and just make any kind of lucky hit variant super strong this is good for necro sorks or any other like barbarian maybe not even barbarian maybe rogue rogue has some really good lucky hit type builds but this increasing your lucky hit is actually super strong if you're going to go that route and not have a traditional like resource management or you just need stuff that is just going to be procced by lucky hit to make your build go over the top so this one is probably going to be like a four I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one for zer but if your build is a lucky hit chance build then this is going to be very strong next we got straight up elixir of magic resist this is just going to pump all of your magic or all your all resist by 25 percent which is insane you can see mine are all completely maxed i have skulls in each of my jewelry to give myself more armor that right there is probably what you should be at you should be able to use your paragon board as well as your gear pieces here to increase your overall resistances okay now you can see something like um you know just increasing your all stats or something like that if i go over to my gear pieces here some of my gear pieces for example like my helmet that i'm gonna probably swap out has shadow resistance on there these pants they um they don't have fire resist i think my other pants have fire resist but then these boots have fire and lightning resist if i just want to boost it even more however with your paragon board and just your overall um jewelry pieces you should have max all resist but if you don't if you don't then elixir of magic resist is one to kind of help out this is especially important on barbarians because it seems to be like barbarians have a hard time even with their boards to kind of max all these resistances so elixir of magic resist might actually be a very very strong one for you next we got probably one of the best in the game is elixir of resourcefulness increases your max resource by 50. this is going to go up to the two slot i think increasing max resource is crazy important in a lot of builds so now my my mana would go to 290 or excuse me 190 or 199 which is just insane as a flat and if i was to mess around with my paragon board and add even more mana i could get all the way up to 256 mana with the elixir which is just insane now the reason that this one is so good is because a lot of builds require your resource to be super high for example upheaval hoda barbs um ball lightning sorks that use elementalist powers or in the abilities just like we have here uh when your mana is above 50 every time you cast that is going to have the increased damage effect so there's a lot of things that use maximum resource this is also very very strong for barbarians i cannot stress that enough so elixir of resourcefulness is super powerful in a lot of builds okay now next and last but not least is probably iron skin right increase overall armor by 900 this is super strong if you're having any issues with your armor for arbiter then this will help you kind of just close the gap a little bit more however my armor currently is 7100 with a max disobedience over here you need roughly about 15k armor or 14.4 14.5 and as you can see with my current setup i only go to 12 almost 13k however this is just my open world setup when I swap over to my actual normal pants that I have here with the extra armor, you can see that I'm about to go up to 14.3k. So this is roughly where you want to be at for the Arbiter of Zir. So if I added just another 900, we would be closer to 15k, which is completely fine. However, you don't necessarily need the Iron Barb, which is the reason I'm going to leave it kind of probably like here and just swap these two. So if I had the, the, the choice of elixirs, I'd probably go Fortitude or Resourcefulness. These two are going to be interchangeable. Then you got Cruelty, Savagery, then Iron Skin. Then you got Combat for or Combatant Fortune, and then Magic Resist. And then heading up the, the back end is going to be Acrobatics as well as Expertise. Now, guys, this is just an oddball video. Um, from all the information that we've seen from the Arbiter, it seems like it's going to be super fun and you're going to have a glyph that is just going to make any of your builds you're using super super powerful so having the armor and just having a little bit extra um to kind of help you ease your way through the arbiter is just it doesn't hurt right because you can just use these they last for 45 minutes and you're good to go it definitely is going to help out in any build that you're going to use so definitely 
definitely just save these up if you haven't been using them like me and you just have a plethora of them. Now we actually have something to use them for. So I wanted to bring this video to you because I was talking to my chat about it. And I think it's just, it's an oddball. It's cool. But yeah, now I have a reason to use these. The other big main ones are all the, the slaying um, elixirs, which you deal extra damage against certain types. However, this isn't going to work all the time for you because you, it may be hit or miss. If you don't get any undying monsters when you pop your glyph or pop your sigil, then you're just kind of screwed. So that's why I left all of these out for now. So guys, that is today's video. Make sure to drop a like. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the um, state of our elixir grind here and just what we can do to kind of make it better or what we can use for other purposes to use these but those were my rankings for the arbiter of zero or just in general so comment down below guys like the video don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace